I'm Tad Friend, and I've written an article in this week's New Yorker about the threat of asteroids hitting the Earth and what we're doing about it. Asteroids are uh, metallic or rocky fragments of would-be planets that float around. Most of them that are near us are located in the so-called asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. There are several million of them out there, and they go whizzing around the sun up to 10 times as fast as a speeding bullet. In 1994, a comet known as Shoemaker-Levy 9 ran into Jupiter, leaving scars as big as the Earth. And this inspired both uh, bill writers in Congress and also screenwriters in Hollywood to take notice. In 1998, two movies, Armageddon and Deep Impact, came out. Both of them showed the destruction of the Earth from, respectively, a rogue asteroid and a rogue comet. Uh, each of them was riddled with scientific implausibilities, but nonetheless incredibly popular with the public. The United States government just asked us to save the world. I'm with you. The average citizen is quite interested in the topic of planetary defense and believes that we should be doing something about it. Scientists at NASA, however, faced with a complete funding shortfall for anything else they want to do, don't believe we should be spending money on this very remote threat. Oh my God, this is it. The person who's been leading the charge for the American government to do something about so-called NEOs, near-Earth objects, is a guy named Rusty Schweikert. He's a former Apollo astronaut. And for the last decade or so, he's devoted much of his energies to tell NASA how they should be measuring asteroids and what kinds of missions they might undertake to test deflection strategies. First one is a so-called uh, gravity tractor, which would be a small plasma-powered craft that would go up and hover in space near the asteroid and, and just through the sheer power of its own gravity, very slowly and gradually tweak it uh, out of its orbit so that it would, across a period of about 10 years or so, would miss us. The next one, uh, which would be if you need a bigger uh, diversion or you have a bigger asteroid, would be kinetic impact. You basically would be ramming a very heavy rocket stocked with lead and copper into an asteroid at top speed, and you might have to hit an asteroid as much as 50 times to knock it off course. And the third one for a bigger asteroid, or one that's much closer to us, would be uh, sending up a nuclear weapon, and you would be not putting them beneath the surface of the asteroid as they do in Armageddon, but you'd be doing a standoff burst, sort of blowing up a nuke in space near the asteroid to try to deflect it with the power of the explosion. To date, NASA has found and tracked the orbits of more than 900 large asteroids and some 6,900 smaller asteroids, and none of them, as far as they can tell, are on course to hit us within the next century. Though it's extremely unlikely that there's a long-period comet or an unknown asteroid hiding behind the sun, people like Rusty Schweiker like to point out that if one were, we would only have three to six days warning, and we have absolutely no defense systems in place.